Hey everybody, welcome to my neck of the woods. We're up here in the press box in the Bylow Center on a Friday morning as we get ready for game number two of the Eastern Conference semifinals between the Greenville Road Warriors and Wheeling Nailers. And you can kind of see my little area up here just getting the broadcast booth set up and ready to go. And uh, it's nice and quiet up here upstairs up top of section 220 here this Friday morning. And as you can see down below, this is the view I get on a night-by-night -night basis here at the Bylow Center. It is a light day for the Road Warriors in terms of the morning skate here today. It is an optional practice, just uh, three skaters. Goalie out there on the ice right now with assistant coach Jason Spence. And uh, after the hard-fought game one last night, not terribly surprising that the Road Warriors get a light morning here today. Uh, it's a grind, a 72-game regular season schedule. so. Uh, definitely important that these guys get their rest and uh, really just focus on being ready and prepared for tonight's game. And it's an important bounce back game for the Road Warriors here tonight. With the loss yesterday, they lost home ice advantage in this series and now do not want to face going back to Wheeling down two games to none. And it's a little bit different situation but some similarities between uh, going up to Wheeling or this game here tonight before going up to Wheeling and the situation the Road Warriors were in after coming back from Elmira the first two games in the quarterfinal series. Elmira won game number two, tied the series at 1-1 and put the Road Warriors on the brink of elimination and coming back here for a crucial game number three with control of the series up for grabs. Now if the Road Warriors were to fall here tonight they go to Wheeling down two games to none and still uh, the series is not really close to over at that point, but they're just one loss away from facing elimination. So similar situations there, and we saw in Game 3 of that first round series, the Road Warriors came out, played a dominating defensive game in coming out with the 2 to nothing wins. So be very intrigued to see if Greenville can come out with that same mental focus and sharpness in an important game here tonight. And one thing working in Greenville's favor is the fact that they have been very good at bouncing back from losses here late in the season. You have to go all the way back to March 6th and March 12th to find the last time that Greenville lost back-to-back -back games. So that bodes well for Greenville here tonight as they try to take down the Wheeling Nailers in game number two of these Eastern Conference semifinals. And I hope that you'll come out and join us in person for the game. We've got our block party tonight starting at 5 o'clock. Free music, or uh, free food rather from Hoops and Hops, live music from Green Vegas, and Half Price Beer as well. And then for tonight's game, we've got the Spinks Friday Family 4-Pack, and group tickets available as well. So should be a great time here at the Bio Center. We're also giving away a 1,000 rally towels, courtesy of Wells Fargo. So you can come out and get that great souvenir and uh, help make a great game night atmosphere here at the Bio Center. Well, that is it for today's entry of the video diary, and I'll check back in with you tomorrow on what will be the first of a handful of off days as the Road Warriors and Nailers will prepare after tonight's game to get ready to head up to Wheeling. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a good one, Road Warrior Nation.